In this lecture, we are going to do convolution. Convolution is a very common operation in many fields, such as deep learning, signal processing, digital image processing, and statistics. In this lecture, we'll apply convolution to an image to create a blurring filter. So first, we're going to import pillow again so we can read in our image. So that's from PIL import image. Next, I'm going to wget my image, but as before, you should choose your own image. So I'm going to paste that in. All right. So next, we're going to read in the image we just downloaded. So I am equals image dot open png. Next, I'm going to convert the image to grayscale. So that's gray equals np dot mean I am axis equals two. As a side note, two-dimensional convolution is defined for two-dimensional images. So we don't want that third color dimension, at least not at this stage. Next, we're going to create a two-dimensional Gaussian filter. Conveniently, this makes use of the PDF we just looked at. So first, I'm going to create 50 points between minus 6 and plus 6. So that's x equals mp dot lin space minus 6, 6, 50. Next, I'm going to calculate the PDF for these points. So that's fx equals norm dot PDF, x loc equals 0, scale equals 1. Now, the Gaussian filter is basically a two-dimensional spherical Gaussian with some constants that we're going to ignore. A simple way to calculate this is just to do the outer product of f of x with itself. So we can do filt equals mp dot outer fx fx. And if we plot our filter as an image, it should look like a glowing ball. So let's try that. So it's plt dot im show filt c map equals gray. All right, so that seems to be correct. Next, we're going to import the convolve 2D function from scipy. So that's from scipy dot signal import convolve 2D. Next, we're going to apply this function to our image and our filter. So that's just out equals convolve 2D gray filt. Finally, we're going to plot both the original image and our blurred image side by side. In order to do that, we can use subplots. So first we say plt.subplot121. And this means that I want a one by two grid of plots. And right now I plan to plot the thing that goes in the first position. So next we say plt.imshow gray cmap equals gray. So that will plot our original grayscale image. Next we say plt.subplot122. So this means I want a one by two grid of plots and right now I plan to plot the thing that goes in the second position. And now we want to plot our output image. So that's plt.imshow out cmap equals gray. So let's try this. All right, so there we go. We just used convolution to achieve a blurring effect using a Gaussian filter.